last but not least, we have standard algorithm, which I think this is what most parents are familiar with. Um, and this is what I learned to do in school versus the other steps. So let's take a look at standard algorithm as a refresher and a review for our students if they need it. So we have our four digit by our one digit problem up here of 9,532 times six. So I'm going to set it up in standard algorithm format with my larger number on top. So we have 9,532 multiplied by six. Now something that I like to remind students of when we're doing this kind of problem is that each of these digits needs to be multiplied by the factor that's on the bottom. So we're gonna start over here with two times six, which gives me 12. I'm gonna put my two here and I'm gonna carry my one. My one that I put on top, I'm gonna to put a little plus sign next to it so that I remember I need to add that one to whatever the product of that next column is. So we have three times six, which gives me 18. And now I'm gonna add my one for 19. Going to again, carry a one. Now we have five times six, which gives me 30, plus the one that I carried gives me 31. Now I'm carrying a three. Now I have nine times six, which gives me 54 plus three gives me 57. And we end up with a product of 57,192. Now our last one that we're gonna do is a two digit by a two digit number. Let's go ahead and do 85 times 13. So, we have two digits by two digits here, which makes it a little bit more complicated than it was with a four digit by a one digit number. But we're gonna go ahead and set it up just like last time in standard algorithm format. So we have 85 times 13. Something that I like to remind students of when we're doing two digits by two digits is that there is a saying that we follow. We first, start with our three and we multiply up. So we go up. So we have three times five, which gives me 15. Now we go over. So three times eight, which gives me 24 plus our one gives me 25. Then we bring down a zero And the reason we bring down our zero is because we're moving to a new place value into our tens place. So we need to add a zero to show that we're moving to the next ten, to, no, to the next place value. Now we are going to be looking at our one, which is in the tens place, and we are going to multiply over. So we do one times five, which gives us five, and then we multiply up which will give us one times eight is eight. And last but not least, we add them up. And last but not least, we add. So we're gonna take our two numbers here that we've gotten, which are partial products, and we are going to add them together. So we have five plus zero gives us five. Five plus five is 10, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus eight is 11. So the answer to our equation of 85 times 13 is 1,105. So again, that's up, over, bring down the zero, over, up, add. And that has been Math Corner with Miss Perry. I hope that I have been of some assistance and I hope that you reach out if you do need more help. See you later.